Hey, we're back. Um, when I was ending the audio, or when I was ending the last episode, it started the fight. But I haven't made the move yet. So here we go. And already we're off to a terrible start. A terrible start. Really unhappy about the way they made me fight these fights. Um, damn it. Well, let's get to it. I did that solely for the extra turns. God, what? how do I get rid of everything that's in front of this thing? Friggin' frig. You know, it would be great too, getting an attack. Going here. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm gonna stop saying okay. I gotta try and keep this straight in my head. Where do I get the... I'm just gonna have to move it off, huh? Yeah, okay. Waste a turn moving it off. Damn it, I wanted to create the thing. And I lost the friggin' gray one. Who cares? He's gonna be able to build it anyways, so... The only thing that matters is that we build ours first. And... yeah. We'll be able to build ours on the next turn. So there. So now what are we gonna do? Ugh. Ooh, I know what we're gonna do. Um, yes. I had to think about it for a sec. If we take these two, and then we also build a wall, and a row of dogs, and call in some reinforcements. That's not the worst thing, actually. Ugh, him getting that extra turn sucks, though. Ugh. That's some bullshit. Um, just gotta build it. One, I won't be able to build it this turn, that's for sure. One, two, three. You know what I can do? I can make the wall, and then I can use that last one. This isn't too bad. Right? Okay, that. And then that. And then... Sure. Hey. That was sweet.
what do I want to do here? What I really want to do is build some protection. Yeah, some protection for my... from a pit fiend. It's gonna... that thing will waste one of... one of the attacks. Alright. Fuck, he's still alive. That is some BS. That is some BS. Probably gonna link them together to... BS. Um... Weird. Gosh, should we just build up so many walls? But it might be a little bit of time before we get our thing off. Really? All right. If this thing hits me... Oof. Way to get that succubus loaded. You know what I'd appreciate? My succubus. Have to crush. All right, all right. We're crush crushing. How long do those damn fire things last for? Might as well. Oh, I should have crushed the thing. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ugh. We better do some damage with this attack. Nice. Do I want the walls, or do I want to shoot them off right now? Do I have to delete them? No, they must, they must go on the next turn. They must. Come on. If I have to delete them, then F me. Thank you. So, this is definitely going to hit me. do that. I'm going to have to wait a turn. Whatever. Thirty-seven, huh? Taking a hit for ten. That's not bad. I wasted a lot of the attack. And then reinforcements won't give me another pit fiend. Come on, game. Uh, 
Hey, nice. Nice. That was lucky. Why did I pull it off that one? Yeah, no, you're not getting through. Two? I can live with two. That's a burn, though. No, no pit fiend for Tyler. Guess we'll just attack theirs. And it's built. Bougie. Oh, we've almost got everybody built. God, he's about to do the same thing. Friggin' frig sauce. Didn't see it coming. Not bad. Not bad. A little tricky. Now we can finally buy some units. Charhasa is just ahead. That's where we'll find ease. I mean, Azixi's lair. Uh, what did these guys do? There must have been an option to buy them that I missed. Like previously absorb some power from fallen ally formations what a boring waste of time although you know what when we were killing that that guy was fucking us when we were killing that one dude and he was like charging up his attack power i just like the pit fiends better i think we're going i can only buy one more what i really want to rock is just pit fiends That'd be silly. The Psychobus receives a 20 cent power boost. I kind of miss that. Reduce the pit fiends by one turn. That did help us so much, though. That was mad strats in that one fight. I guess we'll leave it. Um, okay. Haven't had an opportunity to save the game. Now that that's done... What to expect? Is this going to be the, like, boss fight? He's going to be so mad. What do I tell him? Think, Aziz, think. Lord Bloodcrown appears. All right, Azixis, I've given you plenty of time to find it. Hand over the Blade of Binding. Master, please, you have to understand. You don't have it? Unbelievable. I counted on you. Gave you resources and power beyond your wildest demon dreams. I went back to Irondale like you commanded, but it wasn't there. Bind it! Go back to Iroland, to the Griffin Empire. Search, you fool. The Blood Moon is nigh. I need it. With it, I will smash the mystic gates of Urk Hakal, unleashing the ancient nightmares within. And with the Blade of Binding, I shall command the legions of Shog and Dran Ashan and a demon tide. Be at the gates of Urhakal, the blade and binding in hand, by the time of this eclipse. Or I will make you suffer as no demon has suffered. Oof. That, that creature, he said with the blade of binding, he will control demons. I control demons. I have the blade of binding. You mean that dagger that has been devouring your arm? That's the blade of binding? I can't believe it. I possess one of the most powerful artifacts in Ashan. Only I am fit to wield it. I, Aiden. To smite my enemies, to fill their hearts with terror. That is my power, my right. 
<laughs> Aiden. We've lost him. We're losing him. Finally, Azixis, ugly as you are, I've been dying to see your face. You are the boy who ran away in Erolan, Eric's, Edric's cowardly son. What are you doing in Shiog? Fate has cast me here and given me the means to take the only thing left that I desire. And what is that, boy? Your wicked life, Azixis. I don't know. Battle or defeat Azixis. Um, what do we? What should we expect with this boss fight? I am not sure. Whatever we should expect, I don't think this is a great start. <laughs> Um, well, we're just going to hit him hard with uh, crap attacks. And then we'll load up the... Interesting. Interesting. And he's going to hit in three... Hmm, frig. I feel like bringing that over, crushing it. Hmm, hmm. This one's a tough call. Um. Literally the only attack we can get off before he attacks. We'll have to have it ready to go. Gonna have to waste the dog. So that... It, why do I need a purple? Or why do I need a thing? To make a wall? Crush, move the red. Okay, crush. Moving the red isn't even important, but we'll do it. And then... No, nope, not terrible. We're going to get hit. We're fine. And then in the next move, we'll build both of the things. Fuck. This might. This is gonna hurt. This is really gonna hurt. And the motherfucker's got 200 health. That's insane. So yeah, he's gonna absolutely destroy. 3, 6, 9, 12, 16, 19, 19 and 17. Oof. We get hit for 24. Ouch. So... <laughs> fucking, fucking fuck cycles. Shouldn't have even brought the succubuses, cause he'd have been—they'd be forced to give me pit fiends if I fucking. Okay, what else can we do? We don't know what's coming. It's almost like you have to die once just to know what to do. Other. Because otherwise, you're, it, it really does depend on luck. Like, I really feel like it depends on luck. I'm 
Yeah. What's he gonna do? Alright, and then he's moving over there. Well, we might build up some dogs. We're definitely going to do that. You know what else we're going to do? Yeah. We're going to fuse. defeated his attack. That's interesting. Okay, this is interesting. I think I'm going to get this off in time. Very weird. Not sure what's going to happen. Okay. I hope I'm not building these too early. I might be. So he hit my one for 30. Yeah. I got him down to one, and his attack still grew to 30 over two turns. That's not cool. That was good timing, though. And that was some classic bullshit. So, is he gonna do the, the arms up again? I feel like maybe he's doing the arms up again. Dun, 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 dun. Two. Oh god, what does that mean? <laughs> you guys are not helpful at all when it comes to like trying to guess at what the fucking shit does. Well, all I can do is try and prepare. Okay, okay. I think I know what's coming. These things are gonna attack me. There aren't any right here, which means... Yeah. All right. Five, four, two, hits me for 11. Son of a bitch. And he doesn't look like he's moving, does he? Okay, interesting. I 
think we're still gonna build a pit fiend. So now, what's the easiest way to get? No, that's not gonna work. Bum, 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 bum. Crush, move it over, and then build it? Feels like it. Okay, let's shoot those guys off. And then, gosh, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't want them to attack. I need the gray. I got confused and thought I was building the succubus for a second. So I need the gray, which means crush move and then next turn we're literally doing this just to save ourselves you know what if this kills us It's possible we could win. Oh, I didn't plan this out well. Okay, you know what? There's hope. 21. Okay, so if I move this... Right, I just move it to like here just for the extra attack power. All right. It's so weird to play with the revive death as your strat. I am. That was a good, uh, good fight. Yeah, the revive death thing's pretty powerful. You really got a plan for it. I thought I was going to not be able to get uh, hit enough by that uh, bolt. We lost a succubus. We leveled up the pit fiend. I think that was maybe our last fight, though. Aiden, you have become so merciless, so powerful. Mo what more could a girl want? Aiden, my Aiden, now that Azixis is dead, where should we go? What shall we do together? Lord Bloodcrown will be next, if only he will show his face again. In the meantime, we shall march to the gates of Urhakal. Aiden is exalted by what he has achieved, though in doing it, he has become something unrecognizable. And yet, it seems that he wants even more, and is willing to go even further. Jezebeth unlocked in multiplayer. Yes, we do want to save. That's the end of Aiden. That means we're playing the last campaign, Nadia. Um, you know what though? I'm going to end the episode there because I just saved, so that's the perfect time. Um, yeah. It's been, I'm having a great time playing this game again, I gotta say. Um, and then next episode, we'll start up Nadia's campaign. Uh, like always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.